When it comes to laptops, there's so many different types of form factors, anywhere from gaming laptops that are super thick and heavy, but have amazing performing components that are gonna get you the top FPS in any of your games. You also have Ultrabooks that have maybe a, a notch below performance wise of a gaming laptop, but they're much thinner, much lighter, but they still have that top end performance. And then you have a bunch of things in between, but you also have some of those weird form factors like your uh, detachable keyboards from your laptops. And then you have two-in-one laptops like this Lenovo Yoga 9i, the newest generation from Lenovo with an Intel i7-1260P, four performance cores, eight efficiency cores, giving you 12 cores and 16 threads. It's an awesome performing laptop. Uh, it has XE graphics built in. So, I mean, this thing is a super well-built laptop. Expect a full review of this Lenovo Yoga 9i in a week or so. This is definitely not a gaming PC, but it will still play games. Um, and it also has the added benefit of being a two-in-one, meaning that the screen folds completely 360, giving you the opportunity to turn your laptop into a tablet. And this also gives you a great performance benefit when you have it more in like a tent mode, kind of having the bottom keyboard set up on your desk uh, and allowing all that airflow that would normally be blocked by the bottom half of your desk to now travel in straight through the top or the bottom of the laptop, cooling everything off much better than if it was just sitting on your desk. But you know, what I really wanted to test in this video is how well does this thing perform and kind of what is the gaming aesthetic feel like playing on a two-in-one versus playing on your typical laptop. Now, like I said, expect a full review of this 14-inch Lenovo Yoga 9i uh, in a week or so, but a quick overview. It has one Type-C, two Thunderbolt 4 ports, and a USB Type-A. Uh, so overall, pretty good port selection for a thin and light like this, two-in-one. It also has a sound system by Bowers and Wilkins that is built into the hinge so it fully folds around, whether you, you're using it in tablet mode or in laptop mode. Uh, and overall, the screen is super nice. It's 1920 by 1200, so a little bit bigger aspect ratio, which is always nice. And when you get it in tablet mode, you also get the pen with it or the stylus that really allows you to take full advantage of this awesome touchscreen display. And when you do put it in like this tent mode, you get the full capabilities of having all of the air pass through the bottom of the laptop, which is now the top of the laptop, giving you uninterrupted airflow, like you see here when the laptop is just sitting on your desk. But if you were to use this thing to game, or you know, you're really trying to see what would a gaming laptop be like as a two-in-one, you know, typically you're not gonna have the best keyboard on a laptop compared to a full-fledged keyboard uh, or, or mechanical keyboard, they're still pretty good, um, but it always isn't the best kind of hand feel when you're playing games on one of those keyboards. But overall, this is a really, really nice experience. Although this display is only 60 FPS, again, it's not a gaming laptop, it still does perform super well. You turn VSync on and this thing just looks really, really nice. Uh, the color accuracy, it's also a four engine display. So you're getting you know, some really nice colors and some really nice visuals on this laptop. But what if we do use it in two in one mode and we actually flip the screen over. Now we're getting that full fledged uninterrupted airflow like I mentioned. And now you bring out your mechanical keyboard, you have your gaming mouse and you use this thing like a desktop, you know? You have a 14 inch or maybe a 16 inch display. Uh, you hook up your laptop to your keyboard and your mouse, and now it's a full-fledged gaming laptop or gaming desktop using the laptop for the display, and then all your other peripherals match what you would have on your typical desktop. And again, I mean, super simple. With this thing, you have your Thunderbolt 4, so you have plenty of ports, and you get that uninterrupted airflow to those bottom fans, which is really gonna make a difference, especially on a really high-end config with a 3080 or 3070, that's really gonna draw a lot of power. Um, but here you go, I mean, here's some of the gameplay. Now you get a full-fledged gaming setup with your laptop, the screen front and center uh, propped up by the bottom of the laptop. And again, I mean, the biggest piece here is just that bump to FPS, knowing that you're gonna have much better temps and much longer sustained temps being that you have that uninterrupted airflow to the bottom of the case, 
um, which is just gonna, of course, give you a better performance when you're playing games like Valorant or, or Fortnite or Apex or Call of Duty. You wanna be able to just get that little bit extra boost in performance to really take advantage of a laptop with a higher refresh display like 120 or 144 hertz. But what if we actually did see this on a full-fledged laptop like a Lenovo Legion, you know, Slim 7 or 5 Pro or whatever it would be, you know, what would the performance or what would it actually look like to turn one of these into a two-in-one? And just for a little mock-up, I mean, it looks pretty sick as a two-in-one having your gaming laptop just have the opportunity to bring all that fresh air in and exhaust it out the sides and just be able to use it as a gaming desktop as a laptop. So overall, I mean, this thing looks sick. So what do you guys think? Does this two-in-one form factor tablet slash laptop slash gaming desktop make sense for, you know, a full-fledged gaming laptop with super high-end performing components, you know, an RTX 3070 Ti or 3080 with an i7 or an i9? Does that make sense to have this type of form factor on one of those high-end performing gaming laptops? I think so. I'd be interested to see Lenovo try and give that a shot. Uh, but let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below. I'm super interested and eager to hear what you guys think. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, get subscribed to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one.